fun, you know? Because, like, you could you could deal with, like, burnt look fries, but, like, yeah. burnt yeah. steak fries, it's, like, intolerable. But, um, speaking of intolerable, we have uh, Bayonne Kirby. Which part is intolerable about this matchup, Bars the Journey? Um, that both of them got nerfed. So, do, do, <laughs> does anyone know this matchup right now? Um, no. Do uh, either of these men know this matchup? I mean... Does probably the not. NSM Twisted know how to beat Kirby I as Vanna? You are the NSM ringleader, so you should probably know this. Ringleader? What, what are you talking about, yeah, Bars NSM the Journey? I don't, I don't know NSM Nixie. Um, so, Vinyl, duding. Whoa, whoa, okay, up B as an edge guard tool, possible. Maybe a two frame O, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he tried to call He tried to call NSM Twisted, like missing the ledge, potentially. So, And that spike is um, it's really strong. That has, like, very high base knock. Ooh! And speaking of calling out uh, yep. Ledge Attempt, he just called that up. F-Smash on to catch Kirby up B. That was kind of a questionable placement of the up B. These tilts catching Bayonetta at Ledge. Um, I'm wondering if that's, like, one of Kirby's, like, best, I guess, two-framing options. Or, like, maybe the hitbox, like, lingers by Ledge. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Smash 4 stuff not happening. Yeah. Um, but... Twisted right now, he's playing, you know, a little reserved, and as I say that, okay, he called him. out you the you nair with him. You, you, you saw him wiping his nose and shaking his head there. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, brother. I mean, I would shake my head, too, if I got an air up smash by Kirby. Oh, disrespectful spit. Up tilt, smash four combos, my Kirby. Okay, 32%. Quick 32. You know, because oh. I was just like, about to say, I'm interested to see what Twisted gets off of these, like, you know, which twist or side B confirms. And he hasn't really gotten much... Maybe like two hit combos here and two hit combos there. I know there's room for extension there. Oh, that was actually not a bad idea to throw out the, the, the down B from Bayonetta just in case the hitbox ends up crossing it, but um, just out of the way and he snaps ledge to now. You see that casual jump over in back air? Mm -hmm. Like through. They didn't care. <laughs> through didn't Bayo's forward tilt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got some crouching from Bayonetta. The Bayonetta disrespect classic. Uh, Deluxe. He, he just whiffed the forward air and just got down tilt in that back air, taking it. Um, Move is still good. Back air is still good on Bayonetta. So. Yeah, so Twisted didn't get too much extra credit last stock. So let's see if he can build something here. Yeah. Jab to down tilt. I was, about, you know, I was just about to say, I'm I'm feeling an, a smash tech at ledge coming because Twisted is having a... He has a habit of jumping off the ledge, it seems. Hmm. And Vinyl has caught on to it a little bit. I think they always like it. Like they like that option. Because then they could like do things like Nair or down B even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does have a lot of aerial options, so... I guess it's just going to get off the ledge kind of easier. Run forward, turn around, up tilt. Kirby trying to get some, some combos started here. We're getting some Bayo juice. And that was good by Twisted. That was the first time he, he probably extended his combo this whole set. All these disrespectful F tilts. I'm feeling a, I feel like a forward smash at the ledge is going to come near the end of the set from Kirby. Uh, I don't know about you. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But I feel like we're going to get a Bayo F smash before we get that. Ah! Ooh, okay. okay, he tried to read a roll out. I would have rolled out. Oh, and the guns, the guns just put on like. 30%. That was Bur crazy. Kirby has holes all up in him right now. What do we got on, on the ledge? Up, down tilt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh he, Ooh, okay. he, did, he did an up smash. Okay, not a forward smash. Okay, let's see what he does. Okay, Nair. I'm just getting some more damage on because he knew he was going to kill him. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my oh. god. That doesn't have super armor, does it? Definitely not. It's oh. Kirby. Okay. I just, just wanted to make sure. Okay, okay so, like... They're both just whacking each other off stage right now. It's just a matter of who's going to get this last hit here. And that dash attack for coming from Kirby is pretty strong, so that might come off the top of a bad guy at this percent. These F tilts he's been hitting at ledge to, 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 to whack him. Oh! Ooh. Ah! Mm. Up there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just mm. killing. Um, Not sure if that was bad yeah, but, you know, that was that was a pretty high percent. So, yeah. yeah. There was some interesting interactions there. So, you know how in this game, like, crossing up isn't a thing for Bayonetta Saibi on the ground now? Yeah. Um, uh, Twisted did that to Final Shield. So, you know, in theory, you know, you can know what, where she's going to be at all times and, like, punish. But the thing is, Kirby's mm -hmm. back was to Bayo, so Kirby had to turn around to get an adequate punish. Yeah. Um, and, and ended up losing that interaction as a result because he didn't have many options out of there. So, um, interesting little things that it's the first time I'm seeing because I'm, I don't know who these characters are. Mm -hmm. um, There's small nuances that you could tell. Um, yep. I learned that forward tilt at the ledge for Kirby is at least some type of an option to two-frame. It looks uh -uh. like, um, I don't know if it's disjointed. It looks pretty, like, looks pretty, looks like a pretty good hitbox at the ledge. Mm -hmm. um, caught, twisted a couple times, yep. um, just recovering. And I know, like, he has he wasn't snapping every single time, mm -hmm. so it's also probably a reason he was strong at the F-tilt set ledge just to catch, get some extra percent. Vinyl could also be a god, you know? Like, he could be a god at timing these things. Yeah. He, um, or, you know, Bayo not snapping on up B. Like, the disjoint could, could just hit Bayo before she gets the ledge. Yeah, you know, Vinyls are back in style, so he might be just like a new age genius. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we're going to roll Yoshi's. Why do we have these stages? And I'm, you know, I'm a little surprised at this because um, he's playing against a Kirby. Mm -hmm. So um, at the edge, I would think it's a, it'll be pretty, be a little difficult to hit Kirby if he's um, crouching at the ledge with Bayonetta. Okay, forward air. Oh yeah, I, I assume. Uh, I wonder if the ledge is, is like a reason behind Twisted choosing this stage. Um, I imagine the little droopiness of the ledge will help Kirby as well. Yeah, especially with that down tilt and those forward yep. tilts. Yeah, because that, that foot's going to dangle off stage. Yeah. And um, right now they're trading a lot, and it seems like Vinyl is winning a lot of these trades. Late um, dash attack. And he's been very patient. He's been, he's doing a lot of waiting in the middle of the stage and waiting for Twisted to press the button. Because it just seems like Twisted's uh, approaching a lot with side Bs and unsafe options on his shield, and Vinyl's just like, okay, we're going to press the button, I'm going to hit you. Okay, just trying to guess his recovery options at ledge here. Side B. Okay, I mean, he didn't, he didn't get punished hard for it, so why not? Yeah, they're both kind of hitting each other, but Kirby's hitting Bale more, which is just like, you know, eventually Bale will just die. But we're both like pretty much a kill percent right now, but we just got to be careful, Kirby. Anything. Dash attack, yeah. Yeah, yeah, dash, yeah dash I was going to say up throw, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm liking the patience coming out from Vinyl. Um, like I said, he's just waiting his time, um, waiting for. Twist approach. So, you know, let's see if Twist can you know, slow it down a little bit. Back hit of down air. I'm not surprised, but I'm also surprised. Um, okay, so up B. Going to get some damage and reestablish the nooch. Man. Yeah, and it just seems like Twisted's having a little bit of trouble hitting Kirby. What an unfortunate hitbox. Except there for with the down air. Yikes. 150 not killing. Oh, yeah, that up air hitbox. Oh, I don't know if you saw, but that up air, up air hitbox of Bayonetta can be DI'd very hard to the sides mm -hmm. and you could live at like absurd percent even yeah. like as a 40 just like that that was nowhere close to killing Kirby for now Twisted struggling to get this kill Vinyl almost just raging that stock away okay Twisted needs to take this stock when that fast. crossed up yeah didn't expect it and it just seems like you know Twisted is pressing a little bit um, yeah he needs to take a stock fast alright good okay good now I mean let's see if he get a little bit of momentum because it just seems like Vinyl has been controlling the pace of this whole game yep yep Okay. This is how it gets started, but it's also how it ends. Uh, Ooh, 6.9%. Nice. Eight. Um, okay, so Swiss so keeps hitting these, like, one up B, maybe the side B, but then nothing after that. Oh, no. We're going to humble the wall and then die. Yep, SD. Um, yeah, man. It just seems like... You know, Twisted is in a hurry to try to punish Vinyl's options, and Vinyl's just not having mm -hmm. it. <laughs> okay. okay, so Twisted going for a forward smash there. He, he needs to, you know, just be careful with his spacing here, because if he overextends trying to get this kill, he'll, you know, just the depths will become more and more, you know, insurmountable. Yeah, and, you know, and I'm liking the attempts with the um, which time when it comes to him finally using up the early, but you need to get a little bit closer. It just seems like he's scared to commit really hard because he thinks he'll just die to anything. Because those are like kind of free punishes. He forward smashed him for it like in game, in game one. So I'm a little surprised, you know, he's probably a little appreh apprehensive being down and stuff. Ooh, uh oh, wave dash from Kirby. Um, you know, smash two Kirby. Maybe, almost lapping him percent now. Maybe uh, Vinyl's just a smash two god. He's we definitely a Smash 2 guard. And we don't know about it. Good parry. Yeah, he just waited that one out. Hit one fair from Kirby. Um, okay, what do we got? Up Smash? Yeah, Good. I knew the forward Smash was coming. I just didn't know him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finally hitting a, a, a Witch Time to take that, that, that stock. So Twist needs to make sure he doesn't get hit by too much right now. Be careful of the Up Smash at ledge. Okay, we're back. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, 36%. Oh. Okay, okay. okay what, what's going to happen? Okay, no punish. Yeah, and that was a good fade back coming from Vinyl. Ah. Oh? Oh, uh, no. I feel like he's playing a bit of Smash 4 right now. Like, like combos that aren't necessarily true in this game. Um, uh, they could be, but they're just not always. Uh, and Kirby's just DNI on like, training mode combos. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but either way, Kirby gets 74% on the start and it's starting to get scary. We could get a Smash Ola to take this one. Ah! Ooh, okay. I respect that down air coming out, because that would have killed him at the ledge. F -chill. Hits. Okay, what do we got at ledge? Okay. Fair. No, coming back to the ledge. It. Any one of these, air, any one of the arrows that Kirby has is gonna kill him. And that we've been talking angled, about those tilties the entire down set. Down angled forward tilt, looking like Sea Falcon. Was that even down angle? It could have just been regular schmangle, but but the hoofing of, of sure. Yoshi. I don't think he was that close. Was it the hoofing? Nah, 
That was down angled. Was, was it? Yeah, I he wasn't was. that close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he wasn't was, that close was, to the ledge. Wasn't the hoop that was a nice down angled four tilt coming out from vinyl, man. Though the spacing on his tilt attacks at the ledge were like really, they were really good. They yeah, really it's good. always it's always cool to see because like, you know, we're so used to you know Palu, this character, this guy. Mm -hmm. We never see characters like you know you see some Bayo clips never, every now and then because like there's some loyalists out there, mm -hmm. um, but like characters like Kirby, you never really know like how they interact with other characters and other archetypes. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to see like the options of like F tilt at ledge, those up Bs, which I thought were questionable, but they were safe. 